I'm David J. Neff, and welcome to another series of Nonprofit Innovators. Uh, today we are interviewing Holly Ross of Inten. She is the executive director. So I'm going to steal the camera from her and point it back. Say hello, Holly. Hey, David. Um, and so go ahead and tell us um, what does an executive director at Inten do, and you know, what is Inten? All right, let me start with what N10 is. We'll do that. So N10 is a community of folks that uh, work in nonprofits and technology, which is kind of a really broad expanse of folks. So, you know, we've got, obviously, your, your IT staff, so folks who are trying to figure out, like, what does virtualization mean for my organization now? We've got marketing communication staff who are like, uh, you know, I feel the ground shifting. What is social media all about? Uh, you know, program staff are trying to figure out things like how do I map the services that I'm providing to the need in my community? Uh, am I doing that right? Or how can I get out into my community with mobile devices and provide better services to my community? And then executive directors too, you know, and uh, executive directors who are trying to figure out how do I make good technology decisions or be a technology steward at my organization when I'm not even really sure how all these knobs work, right? So it's a really broad community of folks, plus the consultants and the vendors who serve the space. So we're all there talking about um, how to make this job easier on a day-to-day -day basis. So just you know, really practical advice on making an e-newsletter work better. Uh, but also talking about some of the issues that really matter to the sector as a whole. For instance, what does social media mean for how we do our work, um, and what are we? What should we be preparing ourselves for? Or, what do we do with this mountain of data that we've got at our disposal now? Um, what does that mean for our organizations in terms of uh, how we evaluate our impact, uh, where we provide our services, you know, uh, how we work together communally uh, across the sector? So. Both, you know, trying to make your day-to-day -day job easier and trying to look out for where the sector's headed um, and help folks have a conversation about what that means for them and where they want to see things go. Very cool. Sounds like a lot of stuff, Holly. A lot of stuff. We're busy. <laughs> <laughs> so tell me, um, I heard you guys have some sort of conference every year and it is like the technology conference right. uh, to go to. So tell me about what that is. Sure. Well, we consider South by Southwest the warm-up for the oh, nonprofit technology wow, conference. Wow. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you betcha. We have an annual gathering, um, and this year it's actually already our biggest conference ever, and registration hasn't even closed. Uh, we have over 1,200 folks signed up to come hang out with us in San Francisco this year, April 26th through 28th, uh, for the Nonprofit Technology Conference. And again, it serves that whole wide audience. So we have a track for IT staff, we have a track for communications and marketing folks, fundraising, leaders, uh, program staff, all of that kind of technology is covered there. Um, so you can definitely come out and you can learn uh, from your peers about you know what they're doing in the field, um, get really great ideas, but I think the best part about the conference is that we work really hard to make sure it's a place where you connect with those pairs and you have conversations and you create the relationships that you can take back to your office. So, you know, whatever cool little ideas you pick up at the show from the sessions, you've now got a colleague that you can call upon to, you know, share or bounce ideas off of or, you know, try to explore the idea. Because really, like, most of us sort of, a lot of us work in a vacuum. You know, we're the only people who do what we do at our organizations. So we know that it's really the community that has the wisdom, the experience, um, and so we want you guys to tap into that. That's Very our job. Cool. Very cool. Tell me uh, a little bit about how Inten uh, is funded. Like, how do you guys get money? Is Inten itself a nonprofit, or it just serves nonprofits? No, we're a nonprofit too. We're a nonprofit just like you. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> so our funding, um, our budget. <clears throat> funding comes from a variety of sources. Most of it um, comes from membership and from the um, you know ticket sales to the NTC or for our webinars, you know the other programs and services that, that we offer. So we get a good chunk of budget from that. Um, we get a small chunk of our budget from typical foundation fundraising, like everyone else out there does, um, supporting our program work. Um, and then a lot of most of the support for the nonprofit technology conference comes from the sponsors, the vendors, and the consultants in the space who are helping to underwrite um, the cost for that. So very cool. How did Inton get started? Did you start this organization like two years ago, or is it ten years old? What's like the short history? Sure. So um, it started uh, it's officially incorporated in 2000. So we're old in internet terms. <laughs> right. Uh, really started operating in 2001 uh, under the first executive director, and um, I came on board in 2003. Um, and even you know even in 2003, we were still having a lot of conversations about you know helping nonprofits um, move away from three by five cards to Excel spreadsheets. 
sense. Right. 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 Um, so that was a lot of the conversation that we were having, and we were having that with a group of people. There was a small group of people, 100, 200 people, who were really focused on nonprofit technology. Um, and obviously, as the years have gone on, more and more nonprofits themselves have not only hired IT staff, but communication staff that have IT specialties or, you know, funders and staff that really get the online stuff. So the community has grown beyond that sort of original subset of, uh, you know, I think the term that we used back then was circuit writers, like technology evangelists for nonprofits. Wow, I have not heard that before. Oh, there you go, yeah. That's, that's our heritage, man. All right. Um, so we've really grown from that community to this, you know, the 6,000 people that are members of N10 uh, since since 2001, which is really, you know, a big growth for eight years. Yeah, so. definitely. Well, cool. Go ahead and give me um, your email, your website, and your Twitter handle, All right. Circuit Rider. Brilliant. So if you want to email me and wait three weeks for me to respond, because <laughs> I'm really bad at it, uh, I'm holly at n10.org. You can find the site at n10.org. Um, you can find me on Twitter at n10hross, uh, you know, Facebook, everywhere else. I'm n10hross. Um, and I think two other sites to check out real quick, uh, n10 projects. Uh, we have a social media project. We've been building a social media curriculum via social media at www.wearemedia.org. Great site where you'll find lots of amazing case studies and Resources. Really good site. Really yeah. good site. Great place to find out a little bit more about social media and your organization. And then um, the other site, we just have a book that's coming out, uh, Managing Technology to Meet Your Mission. So we have a site up at meetyourmission.org, um, and uh, we'll be looking to um, help expand, um, pull from the community more content on how technology relates to missions at organizations, which is often a hard conversation to have. Yeah, definitely. Well, cool. Thank you very much. Thanks, David.